In this video, we are going to apply the unique constant in the columns. In the columns like email ID and mobile number, where we don't want to take any duplicate data, we can add this unique constraint in order to get the valid information for each employee or for each record. By the time we will be adding this unique constraint, we can either add it on the table level as well as on the column level. So let's discuss what will be the difference by the time we'll be uh, implementing this unique constraint at the table or column level. So when you will apply any constraint on the column level, you can only apply that constraint at on one column at a time. But on the table level, you can also apply the same constraint on the multiple columns in the combination. So here, as you can see, I have uh, applied a unique constraint in the couple of columns altogether. So let's see what will be the change in the behavior we will find. If we would have applied a different unique constraint on each column, the each column uniqueness will be considered. For example, here if I will enter A or B and C and then again A. So this will not be taken as A is already there in this column. But when I will apply the uh, shared constraint means one constraint is on the couple of or more than one column in that particular uh, case the single column uniqueness will not be checked but the co uh, unique combination will be considered for example here I write A and A so it is a combination A A now I can again repeat A but here I must put a B so uh, yes there is a A in this particular column but if I'll see the combination, that combination is still unique. So whenever you will be applying a constraint on the table level and you will be passing the number of columns at a single time, such type of actions will be taken. So ensure that before working like this, if you want to pass the multiple columns in the table level constraint, you have to be in a requirement, something like that. All right. So let's see practically how can we start working with this unique constraint. Now let's apply the unique constraint in this table. As here you can see I have a couple of fields like email ID and mobile number. So I want them to be unique. So what can I do is I can apply a unique constraint either at the table or column level. Since not in constraint we cannot apply it on table level so I didn't show that thing but here I'll show both of the ways so here let's say constraint constraint name like student underscore email id underscore unique un and then the constraint type that is unique so definitely it will make the email id field unique and it will not allow a duplicate value similarly I can do that this for mobile number as well but I will show you how to do that on the column level, so on the table level. So constraint, it will be very similar. Constraint name, as I said in the previous video, constraint name is always optional. You can anytime replace this constraint and constraint name. All right. Now mobile number underscore unique and then the type of constraint as here you are applying it on column level I'm not sure on which particular column you want to apply that so here I'll have to pass the column name as well like this definitely I can pass a number of columns by separating all with a comma but as I said earlier in this video like when you will pass a number of columns all together the combination will be considered as unique or not but here I'm not going to pass any combination I just want this mobile number to be unique so that's why I'm not going to pass any second column name but if required you can definitely do that so let's create this table and as you can see it is successfully created let's refresh this here you can find this students table is created in the column definitely you will not find anything fancy in the email ID and mobile number but when you will come in keys here you will find a couple of unique keys that is the student email ID that is unique and student mobile number unique which I just created here if the table is already created and you want to apply the unique constraint in that as here we have the employees table in which I want to apply this unique constraint in the mobile number or email ID anything 
as you can see there is no unique key yes there is a primary key but there is no unique key so let's see how to do, do that so for that I will use alter table command and hit like this add constraint constraint name unique and this column name as soon as you will do that it is successful and now if you will come to the keys let's refresh this one here you will find EMP email you and that's my constraint name so at the end you can also alter the table but in case if you want to drop this particular constraint how to do that so here you can simply say drop constraint and then constraint name so as soon as I did that let me refresh it again and again it's gone so this is how you can start working with the unique constraint as well